Welcome to another review, this time two relatively similar models made by the same brand, Tilic HO, so I decided to review them in one video. ZSK, which is Slovak State Railway sleeping car type uh, Y and um, Czech State Railway Couchette type YB70. And average price in Europe is around 50 euros uh, per car. Both models packaged exactly the same way. Slide in sleeve. Clamshell insert. And inside is a manual and uh, sachet with small parts. And this is the content of pouch uh, with small parts, electrical pickups for interior lights and the railings. The overall first impression is very good. Both of the models are looking very nice. Overall paint quality is excellent. One thing I have to point out that I'm finding actually quite disappointing is that air conditioning vent here is printed on as graphics, it's not injection molded. And uh, if you take a look even at some of the low end Pico cars, um, they do have uh, injection molded uh, pieces or vents on the side. And seeing this being printed is uh, disappointing. The reservation displays or the seats availability uh, displays on the sleeping car here uh, are also uh, printed on. They're just simply flat uh, graphics printed on on the sidewall, not injection molded. There's no frame. It looks almost like a sticker. And this is the entire opposite side of both cars. Roof lines. And this is the opposite side. This is the opposite side. These models are priced way below the price point of Acme or uh, LS models. Therefore, the finishing level is slightly different as well. Uh, first of all, the buffers are solid, not spring-loaded. The transition pieces are one-piece injection molded plastic parts. Uh, however, the uh, retractable plates are actually very nicely detailed here with some of the hinges executed at the bottom. End of train markers are painted, uh, so if you are planning to install lights, you will have to drill it. And actually that's uh, probably a little bit below the industry standards nowadays. And another thing I noticed as well is, I don't know if you can see, but this harness here, the electrical harness for uh, uh, heating, is separate added element on this car. However, on that CD Couchette car, is just simply one integrated unfinished piece that is just kind of ending with a line of of the body here. The suspension side frames and the boogies are exactly the same for both models. Decent level of, de of details and just to provide a little bit more perspective this is Acme model recently released. Obviously there is about $20-$30 price difference uh, between these two models but you can clearly see the difference in execution of, uh, of the side frames.
This is the ZSSK sleeping car and the couchette, CD couchette on top. And just to provide a little bit more perspective, again, completely different price point, but that is uh, recently released Acme. Obviously, this car is minimum $20, um, higher price point. The boogies or the tracks are industry standard snap in, very easy to remove. Just pull them gently and they're coming out. You can see once you remove them uh, the connectors for interior lights, which will connect to your wheel wipers once you in install them. They are included in the pouch, however, you have to install them by yourself and then that will provide a connection uh, point here. So you don't have to run the wires inside, and exactly the same thing is. Here in this car, it's exactly the same execution. And here's one of the wheel pickups kind of inserted, not quite installed, but just dropped in. Uh, you can see that flat spot here is going to make a contact with one of the wipers on this side. And then obviously there's going to be another one on this side. And you have a two contacts on this side and there's another two on the opposite side of the car. So you will have an electrical pickup from all eight wheels. So let's take a look inside. The opening operation is relatively easy. I just use my tool to insert on both sides and here we go. <coughs> Actually the level of, uh, of detailing inside is uh, surprisingly good. So first of all you see the contacts, electrical contacts already here. So if you decide to install the interior lights, you don't have to run wires. And here is the ZSSK uh, sleeping car. Just quick note, before you open this car, you have to remove the electrical uh, harnesses from each end. So there's one going to be here and it's just kind of looping from the edge of the body here to undercarriage. So you have to take them off otherwise you're going to break them. Right. Here we go. That's the shell. Nothing very special. Classic snap on. And then the compartments are actually nicely detailed. And assembling these cars back together is equally easy. Just snap them together. Trucks. Voila. All right, so here's my personal perspective. I think that the paint quality uh, on both of these models is fantastic. Uh, the level of details and the quality of details is okay, okay plus, I would say. I'm a little bit disappointed with a couple of things. Uh, first of all is the air conditioning intake printed on rather than being injection molded here on the side of the uh, couchette car. And the end of train markers which are uh, painted, they look toyish. Now one thing to mention is if you uh, collect some of the high-end uh, models of passenger cars like Acme or LS models and you start blending these cars with some of the more expensive you cannot not notice the difference uh, in, in the quality and execution between the Tavish and, um, and LS models and Acme. But again, uh, it's all about the perspective and the price point. There's a difference between 20 to 30 uh, euros per car uh, between the high-end cars and, uh, and these two models that we just reviewed most important, uh, both models are looking really, really nice on the layout. Happy model railroading. Thank you.